I'm Bobby Flores and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some custom whiteboards. Okay, so my project today is going to be a pretty simple one. I'm going to be using this extra whiteboard from the Art Easel project that I did to make an art easel for our kids. Um, we got a 4x8 sheet of it at Home Depot for I think like $14. Um, I did some 2x2 two two squares and then we have this 4x4 four four piece that was left over. So my wife wants some whiteboard. She'd been wanting some for a while. So I'm gonna cut that into a few different sizes and make some uh, pretty easy whiteboards, cheap and easy whiteboards for her. And then we're gonna use some extra wood that I just have lying around. Uh, maybe some half inch by two or some uh, one by four. We'll cut it down and then use a router to clean up the edges and kind of make a frame for it. So it looks a little nicer and then probably paint that frame. Um, it shouldn't take very long. It's really just cutting the whiteboard, cutting the trim pieces down, routing them out, and then putting it all together. So hopefully this will be pretty easy. Get some of this extra material that's been sitting here out of the way so I can uh, work on other stuff, make my wife happy, make me happy, and hopefully make you guys happy as well. Measure twice, cut once. When you're cutting a board like this, it definitely helps to have a finer blade, not just your standard construction blade. That's it for our big cuts. All right, so this project actually ended up taking me a while to finish, not because it took a lot of time, but because I broke it up in small chunks and did a little bit every day. That's why you keep seeing my clothes change as this time lapse goes through. At this point, I've ripped down the one by four into strips that I'm gonna use to make the frames and I'm routing out the inner edge where the frame is gonna sit and now routing out the outer edge for the decorative finish on it. So then we chop all these to length and then miter cut so that we can put the frames together. Now, I actually didn't get video. Um, I lost the video where I put the frames together, but I just put some wood glue on each of the ends and then shot some small brad nails into the corners to get those to set together. That brings us to this point where I've marked out where we're gonna be able to see the visible area on the whiteboards and I'm making the calendar, putting the dates on there. I'm doing that on both of those. After I got the calendars all drawn up, the whiteboards were ready to be put in the frames. I did that with some wood glue, gluing them into the frames and taping it down to hold it in place till they dried. So that's what the cardboard is there on the back. It's a little spacer so that the tape will hold it in tight while that glue is drying. Next up here is this edge didn't turn out very well with the router. The wood's not that great and the router bits probably aren't that great so it's a little rough. Um, so we're going to do some caulking on the inside edges there just to clean that up and make it look a little nicer just using a normal dab painter's caulk. So get that all cleaned up and start painting these. We really like colors in our family so everything that can be is nice bright colors. I guess this is a black so not bright but very strong colors. cutting that edge in by hand. On the big one, I decided to use some painter's tape for that inside edge so that I didn't have to work so hard to cut it in. Painter's tape never gives me the best result. Okay, so I've got another video showing what I'm doing here, but I'm making a bracket to hang it on the wall with instead of putting nails or a wire. I just don't feel like those do very well. It makes it harder to level it and adjust it. So I'm making some Z brackets and I'll do another video showing how I make those if you can't catch it from what's here on the video. So 
So once all the brackets are attached to the frames, you can get really meticulous about the placement, making sure they're level and evenly spaced, which I love. And you'll see the finished product here in a second. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, let me know what you think, any improvements that I can do, or ideas for future videos. As always, be sure to check in the description for links to tools and products I used during this video. Those links will take you to Amazon and buying through them will help support this channel.